Hey guys, this is Hunter. Uh, this is my video of making a Gandalf the White Staff. To start getting the wood, I went to some public land where I knew there were beavers and they eat the willows there. So they knock them down and then it dries out over the years. So I found this piece of wood that was about the right width. Then I took it to the shop and brought the diameter down using this draw knife. So you just um, pull the knife back and it, it removes wood so you can get it down to the right width uh, for your hand. So this staff will actually be my second Gandalf the White Staff. So that right there is the first one that I made. Uh, the first one I made was, I just made for fun because I always wanted to make one and then uh, gave it to a friend of mine for his birthday. But when I was making it, a different friend saw it and said, man, I would love one of those. And so I figured I'd make a video and, and show you guys how I made it. So I used a lot of chisels. My favorite things were, are you gouges usually, especially for work like this. You cut down the sides or all the way around the portion you want to remove. And then I just cut in and just break those pieces out little by little. I kind of dig those holes. Uh, in the next little section of the video, you'll see really worked it out, just work in, and then you flip to the next side and you work in, you flip to the next side and you work in until all those holes you've dug meet in the middle and then the middle starts to kind of come out so it's difficult because the wood on the inside of that gets hollowed out you just have to kind of carve down through and then you have a lot of little splinters that you just have to cut and break out and break out and break out and so it takes it's time consuming but you can get a lot of wood out and make a hollow cage in whatever it is you're you're making Sometimes people carve chains. It's really fun to do, even though it's time consuming. This right here though, is just a section where I was digging that hole in the Celtic knot, and there was literally a, a wood knot right there. So it just, it took a long time. This, just digging that hole probably took 20 something minutes, so. I carved these out like this. And I carved in really deep to this point about here. And I did the same thing here and here until I broke through. See, so now I'm through on all three sides. Unfortunately, this portion here broke as well as there, see? So I'm gonna have to glue those. So now I'm starting to work through each of those holes and start working out all the wood that's in between all those knots, all the inside. So I have to go in each of the holes and break down all the, the chunks inside to work all that wood out of the middle of the knot. able to work behind each of the knots and get in each of these big holes and carefully carve out those chunks and pull them out the bottom of those those three big holes at the bottom I can just pull the chunks out one by one and then you can see those two pieces are busted off right there so I had to um, set them aside carefully and then glue them in you can see I got everything out you saw how I was doing that just carving down and then slowly working in through each hole until I got up here and then something went wrong you see the design for this staff the actual Gandalf the White Staff has this see it's all these meet in the middle and go between I just carved that peak out of a different out of it the same kind of the same piece of wood but not out of this because this one just came apart what I'm gonna do is work it in through that hole and make it so it fits on each of those and I'm gonna glue it in and then very very carefully sand it and, and keep carving and see if that does the job but now I have them all carved out I sanded this one down a little bit also I was carving 
And you saw, you saw how both of these two broke off. That kind of helped clean up the inside of this pretty good. Um, but I glued them back on last night. <clears throat> and somehow, the piece between here and here was just gone. <laughs> I went through all the I went through all the chips and everything looking for it. it wasn't there. So I just made a new piece. Um, so I'm gonna have to sand that down really good and, and everything. Um, with wood carving, especially with little detail things like this, um, losing a piece or having to re-glue it is extremely common. A lot of people get really upset if something breaks when they're trying to carve and they give up. Don't give up because um, that's part of wood carving. The goal, like with this one, the wood was a little harder. This piece, of, this piece of willow was a little harder than this new piece, so it was it was easier. But if you look carefully, I believe right there it split. This thing split in half. Let's see. Once you sand it down, it kind of disappears. But this one right here. That broke off. Now that that's a piece of glue, so it's nice and sturdy, it doesn't do anything. And it broke here. Actually, this one looks like it's still cracked a little right there. You can see that crack appearing and disappearing right there. <clears throat> that happens. So you sometimes the best thing to do is break it all the way off and glue it and then glue it up real good and stick it back on. Sometimes it's just good to put glue on the crack and just kind of open it and close it and open it and close it, and it just kind of works the glue down into the crack. So that's what happens, that happens. Stuff breaks off, you gotta work with it. Exciting new development. The whole side broke off. That's okay, I will use it to my advantage to clean up all in here, clean up the back side of this guy, and then I will just glue him right back on, sand it up and be done. All right, so I'm gluing that piece back on. Okay, taking off the rubber band. See how it worked. Okay, so this is now where I'm just bringing down the whole diameter of it again, of the handle, the whole shaft. I'm just working it down and the most difficult portions were those knots because you kind of have to carve to it from above or below and then come to it from the other direction, above or below, whichever one you start with. And then I'm just sand it all down. So this is me oiling it with just a paper towel, I'd pour the mineral oil on there, wiped it all down, got inside all the knots, and uh, that's the kind of finish I really like on these stabs because it doesn't make them darker, it keeps them that white, like hand off the white. Here was just a little clip of getting to kind of see it close up. It turned out pretty good. So well, here's the final product of the Gandalf the White Staff. I really enjoy making these, they're a lot of fun. Most of these little dark spots didn't get very dark. These other oils like linseed oil make it a little darker, but this kind of leaves it with its natural color. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Okay, so I have the staff. The buddy I'm giving it to is actually moving out of the state. So I'm gonna run it and hide it on his doorstep and ding dong ditch it there. He's barbecuing out here, so I'm just gonna set it by the barbecue.